When you start up your car, you are throwing fertilizer through the exhaust pipe, two kilograms per liter of gasoline. Is that bad? The worst is to ignore the consequences. As Donald Trump, he knows everything about climate change. I've been four years studying the effects of the climate change up in the Arctic. Winter there is dark and cold, but one day the sun pips it, it rises up in the sky, warms everything, the ice melts, and the spring pops up. Microalgae blooming all over, like flowers are doing on land, all at the same time. They live on the surface, but also inside of the sea ice. They use antifree sunscreen made of sulfur. There it is, the Arctic spring bloom. Phytoplankton is growing and consuming all the nutrients that are in the water. But they also consume carbon dioxide to make photosynthesis. We have demonstrated that phytoplankton stops growing not only because there is lack of nutrients, but also because there is not enough carbon dioxide. If you add CO2 to the water when phytoplankton is peaking, when nutrients remain in water, when CO2 is already low and temperatures are already low, photosynthesis is stimulated. CO2 works like compost or fertilizer. In 1958, Charles David Keeling started to measure CO2 in the atmosphere. Since then, it has increased from 300 ppm to 400 parts per million. That's a lot. This is the fastest change in the story of the Earth. Please, friends of Rajoy's cousin and Donald Trump, can you have a look at this graph? If you increase CO2 in the atmosphere and there is lack of CO2 in the ocean, it will enter by diffusion. We might be fertilizing the Arctic without being aware. One study from USA has seen that trees on land has been fertilized in the last 10 years. Is that meaning that the Arctic will become a green oasis full of new fisheries? Sorry, we don't know. Arctic CO2 fertilization is happening in our labs, but we don't know if also it is happening out there. Scientists have to keep researching on the effects of climate change. Please, Donald Trump, this is not a Chinese hoax. I urge the rest of the countries to take over the scientific legacy that the United States, the world's leader country on climate research, has taken us. Thank you very much.